Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to create 3D 160 a shooter game. It's in here. It's go new. Here you can uh, go it here. You can make a mob pause and create and play. <clears throat> As we can see, uh, uh, we are moving here with these two buttons. This character will be rotated to the left and the right, <clears throat> and it's automatically shoot to the enemy. And here we have a joystick that, with click and drag, we can move the object in all direction. Okay, go to the word setting. This is an start. This is a main menu and the word setting. You don't have any gravity. You can add it. And the game direction is the zero, so we are going in this direction. Two important things is object deletion threshold and the first movement to this constant number. So the go the game go to the this direction. We have a pause and game over and the word UI. In a word UI, we have the new button that I want to explain it here. <coughs> the joystick. The joystick is in a character button, it's a joystick. The with this joystick button you can simply you can delete it you can simply click and drag it change it its area and if you click and drag or touch in this area if you touch in any direction the character exactly follow your mm, movement and we have two settings that's where you explain it uh this is first button this is sensitivity it means one it means if you for example, select in this direction with this <coughs> speed, the character goes exactly with this. It sets once. If you want to more movement, more sensitive, you can move it. Or you can make it a lower sensitive. If you uh, select it, as you can see, if you mouse your, as you can see, we have <coughs> very movement, our, our mouse, but our character uh, does not follow our speed of our mouse. Because this is an ab absolute, or you can change it to relative. It means if you <clears throat> uh, move your mouse faster or a small uh, or slower, it will be changed the speed of the that relative to your mouse. But if you can do absolute, I want to the one by one to one. It means any direction, any movement of my, of my mouse is affect affected to the correct movement. So this is joystick. It's very easy and you can change its area this is a pause button this is a graphic as you can see this is a graphic that uh, prefer it's below there it's not important because the joystick is just an area for uh, uh, touch or click and drag it shows that it means you can't drag in any direction important thing is see to the edge for changing dimension of your <coughs> smartphone and the two important button here this is a character button to control the character rotation it's simple function set it to the character in this direction it's, um, set to rotate right and rotate left you don't need to advance move simply rotate it's rotate the character based on uh, its axis and this is an event observer that if you game over, it's going to the game over page. It's very simple, going to the word. The most important thing is character sitting. If you go into the character sitting, this is a default uh, animation and graphic. We don't have any defeated animation. You can add it, it's free. Because we going to the any direction, we have to <coughs> set a max speed if you zero one of them you cannot uh, move to y direction as you can see you can just do this x direction so it's very important to set a maximum speed this is not max uh, speed force this is the maximum this is the top level of your speed that you can specify here okay we have don't we don't have any bounce and jump and the most important thing is here, left lean force and left right and uh, right and left lean force. It is, uh, it means these settings are rotation force. If you set them, set them zero, if you set them zero, if you click on this button, it does not rotate because when you set these <coughs> buttons to 
rotate the character you have to add the force here which which which, which force do you want to rotate it you can set the which rotation if you set it to the uh, zero to the right it does not uh, rotate to the right so the lien means rotational force here for this game you can add the most important thing is the direct movement it, it means if you uh, want to if you untick them this di di direct movement as you can see if i click and joystick it does not move correctly it does not uh, order directly from my movement so it is very important to activate this and the force movement for moving with the camera and the fixed rotation it's very important um yeah it's a fixed rotation for rotate objects rotational and the, another important thing is rotation drag if you select it to the zero as you can see if i click once it's it's itself rotate that does not uh stop if you want something like this you can turn it off but if you want to when you click to rotate red light and suddenly stop you have to add a drag force that it stopped rotation up. correct as you can see it's stopped and it's because of the rotation drag it does not uh, rotate by itself it's uh, it's something like uh, rotational brakes you can break it and the air drag for is, is for jumping because this is a rotational game and in this game the character is rotation you learn other setting of the character gameplay setting okay that's it it's an enemy and it, it has an spawn as you can see if you active the link as you can see we have a bullet here that uh, as you can see it has a, a, a spawner component that explain it you can change its character or game play sitting here so you have to active the link and it is a link to the character and it rotates with that okay and this is an the game something like this and you learn more sitting about the character hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release